Hey guys, this is Coco Berry, and I'm coming at you with um, my first YouTube video. And I know this game is really old at this point. I think it came out, I want to say 2013. But it's very much, I've never played it. It's very much in my comfort zone. <laughs> it's a point and click adventure game. Very little skill required. Um, there's puzzles and stuff. and. I said it'd be fun, so it's kind of, it's actually more of a visual novel than anything, but that's my, oh, look, you can make her eyes fall, that's fun, can you make, no, you can't, alright, so we're gonna get started, yeah, I started it, and, um, it, like, wasn't recording, I tried to record this before and it didn't, so we're gonna start over, but we weren't that far anyway, everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. I apologize to you if I'm sniffling. My best friend. I have a cold. My only friend. Ooh. We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it, it scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? sniffle out of the way of the microphone so it's not like <laughs> completely magnified <laughs> and I got picked up by a dementor Fran please follow my voice on the count of three you will wake up one Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Um... I think I already decided that I want to be as uncooperative as possible. So we're gonna say, I feel- we're gonna- you know, we're gonna be dramatic. We're gonna say, I feel, well, it's not that dramatic considering what just happened to me, but, you know. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. Yeah, we're gonna be as inflammatory as possible. Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better. I promise. Mm. Um, promise? That's nonsense. You just keep me here. We keep you here so we can take care of you. <laughs> but now I have something for you, friend. 
Uh, oh really, is like a little too nice. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. Oh, let me get up. It's from Aunt Grace, take it. There's purse. With like all oh. Okay. Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all of the other things you find a good use. Use. <laughs> Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and Grace. Cool. She's worried about you. I'm worried too. Or I can just st Okay, yeah. I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it, you are out of control, young lady. So tired of all this. I'm so tired of all this, I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. No more medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duo Tea, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. You don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. I'm sorry, I'm reaching for my light. There we go. I mean, I I don't want to take them. Okay, yeah. But I'm going to. I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. After a rough night. The shock the shock value has worn off at this point, but when I first as I got to around this part, and this clown is by far the scariest thing so far in this game. The, you know, the demon it, it doesn't have anything on this clown. Look at this clown. Okay, wake up please. Yep. I'm still here, hideous place. You want to get up? You can chill. I have to get out of here. No, you need to get up, dude. Okay, well, we know, or I guess I just, for the sake of everyone else, I know that that's locked. Uh, I will get your nose, I will get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I don't think so. I'm having a hard time laughing again. 
I've... Ugh. Okay. Uh, name, Franbo, da- I, I decided on Dagenhard, I think that sounds bougier. Anyway. Uh, age 10, gender female. Uh, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearness tried different medications, and all have been cancelled because of side effects. And I also thought it was interesting that this is set in 1944, which I did not know. It's just, it's kind of interesting. Um, I don't want to, I just woke up. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Excellent. I'll save it to play pirate later. Try exam. Oh, okay. Try exam. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Alright, cool. I like that it shows you it's like her brain thinking this. Um. My legs are just fine. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. I, I mean, I don't know, dude. You can break a bottle and shank the nurse. Get out of there. <laughs> like, why would you have a bottle in a mental <laughs> asylum? I don't think I need any of this. Alright. Um, not so easy to see through this. Yeah, okay. No kidding. Can I look? Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. I mean, never know. You use the seesaw and like catapult yourself over the. I mean, it's not not the worst idea. I am I am you know crazy after all. I'm having these hallucinations. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Ugh. Cool. All right, I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. Uh, yeah. yes, I am, now leave, okay, now leave, I'm working, um, so last time, again, I played through this part, I literally got, like, this is, I met the boy, and then I didn't, like, escape the asylum or anything, so I know what happens now, and I didn't, I thought that it was gonna offer me a way to not tell her that I had broken the curtain, and you have to, that's how you forward it, so. Lady nurse, I did something. See, you are nothing but trouble, what is it? Um, yeah, you just have to. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. <laughs> accidentally, I had to fix this, follow me. Oh, I guess I broke. Okay, that was a late reaction. Can I talk to you? Okay, cool. I'm gonna talk to her. There you go. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Um, blank boy. Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Okay. Dr. Phil, the tragic childhood of Dr. Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? We're gonna be polite. Everybody says that I'm sick. They are just stupid. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? Um, yeah. I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? Key? Is the key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. 
the secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? <laughs> Him. All doors are closed, you are a prisoner of my games. Nobody will help you escape. Maybe Phil's gonna help me. Get your words. Leave me alone, I hate you. Okay. I know, super scary. Let's move on. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. N okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I won't let that monster stop me. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Can we open it? A key. This will certainly open something. One would hope. Okay, I talk to him again. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Okay. He has nothing more to offer me, it seems. Oh, Mr. Wood and Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? I used to have a blue dress like yours. Can I not- I can I interact with the cross in this room? Fine. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? I mean- Oh, no, I don't want to go. Okay, I don't know how I did that. Um, okay, name, Fillmore Brownstone. Uh, age 8, gender male, history, the patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brownstone, the boy has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed, treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn, we have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Again, I just think that's so interesting, I mean, it's, it was a traumatic time period, um, and I like, I kind of, now I get it, because like, her outfit, I kind of just thought she was like, you know, a whimsical, pippy long sucking kind of thing. I don't know. Okay, so. Um. Yeah, I could still walk around and see what's on the other side. Yeah, you could. We, oh, yeah. Key. Well. Yeah, but now we have a key. Yes, yes, I got it, and there's something inside. I think I look terrifying in this picture of like Chucky or something. Uh, my parents, presumably. And we have Aunt Grace here, I guess. And Mr. Midnight. And um, I think uh, I'm assuming that they are. Well, they're obviously. They're related, obviously. They're sisters. Um, I think they're twins. Trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. Um, this can be interpreted as paranoia. And then we have drawing of a brain, frontal lobe, motor. Bleh, more Motor, not mortar, motor <laughs> cortex, sensory cortex, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, and temporal lobe. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, and your horrible handwriting. I mean, it's not, it's kind of cool looking, but I can't really do it. Okay, Gladys, Lua, Hannah, or whatever. And then patient name, Franbo Dagenhart. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that after drinking she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come and come out and play. Alright. So we discovered or I discovered not me. Um we discovered that this is a uh, whatever code. So I forget what I don't remember. Exactly what blood, but... Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Ew, for some reason. Uh... Oh my god.
goodness, this is terrible. I know, you don't even lock it, dude. Why do you have that in a mental institution? Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as I was. I mean, I can we take it? We can't, but I wish we could. Okay, so H I D E, so we need eight, uh, eight, nine, four, five. No, it's in my inventory at this point. Kitty told me these would help me. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Moment of, moment of truth. Not your step. Oh, and I didn't even notice there's like a dead rat here too. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Yeah. He, he's just, he, he'll brush it off. It's fine. My mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? Hello? Huh? Let's go to the window. Looks the same. To me. Um... Okay, same. And then... Oh no, I want to talk to... Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? Okay, we'll go to the next room. Uh, so yeah, the first thing I noticed was that the creepy clown is gone. Which does not... Um, does not enthuse me at all. <laughs> I, I hope- I mean, it looks like- Ugh, okay, anyway. We have creepy- Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creature. You- you will not convince me that this is not set in the Harry Potter universe. Yep, it is your head. Okay. Another, a bunny. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. I know. Alright. The door is empty. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. Yeah, me neither, girl. Looks like he escaped from the painting. <laughs> you were all about him a minute ago. Who done it? Who did it? It was not me. Did these change? Yep. Blood. Find him. Okay. Can I go this way? Ugh. Okay. I. This is the. <laughs> this is the part I got to. I didn't say I haven't seen this room yet. All right. Okay. Hi, Phil. You've looked better. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Can I talk to him too? Phil is playing with his uncle and the uncle is mad. Mad. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. What? He killed a bird, and then his uncle's gonna die? I love how- <laughs> This is what's interesting, is that they have, like, the normal dialogue mixed in with all, like, this horrifying crap. And you got roaches on the ground? Yep, same thing, okay. You can see... I can. can see. To happiness. Oh. Hello. Hello? Oh no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Yeah, you've done enough, okay. Um, that's locked. So I'm assuming I have to go down these stairs. Yep. 
No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Appropriate? Hmm. Oh, gosh. Oh. You really had to kill a fox, too, and a bunny? Get up. I wonder what she has to tell me, Aunt Grace. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. I, I, I'm I, not against Marcel right now. Which, by the way, that makes me think of the snail. I already talked to the bunny. I have, like, some weird veins on my bed. I think he's just doing his job. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? I think you're crazy. Foxy, why are you so sad? weird. Can I go over here? How am I gonna get out, dude? Um, is it supposed to be doing that? Okay. Do I have to go back to the normal? Okay, I'm off the pills now. for right now? I'm assuming it's a key? No, I already talked to you. Is it open now that I'm hallucinating? Nope, it is not. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh my god. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Can I... Use my hook? Nope. Arg, this shape is not right. Oh, there's a knitting needle, isn't there? Yep, okay. I kind of saw that and was wondering if I had to pick that up. Okay. I'm, I'm so dumb. I had a freaking bob open the whole time. Okay. Okay. Um, am I going to have to combine them? Okay. Yes, to happiness. I was sincerely really happy. Um, okay. Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Yep. Um, okay, do I want to explore the hall? What the? Why? I don't, I don't get that. It's, it's Mr. Midnight. It's a doll of Mr. Midnight. Okay, I already was in here. Just making sure. Right. You're my beloved friend. Beep, beep. Or bip, bip. Broom. If you want to hug me, try to catch me. Broom. Bip. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Bip, bip. Okay. Well, dude, I got... I guess I do. Maybe I will go in here first. All right, hey girl. Hey. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. <laughs> okay. A teddy and many other things. 
hello. You see them, you do, right? Another clown picture, oh my god. What? I, well, I have to ask what? I want to say I don't just to be rude, but like, I'm not gonna. See what? The creatures that follow everyone. I don't see anything. No, I want to keep, I want to keep going. Yeah, I guess I see him. See what? You mean the shadows? Uh huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. Um, you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me, please. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. It's a bit of a non sequitur, but okay. I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. You have crayons. What do you mean? I mean, I want to find my cat, but I don't really know how that relates to the situation. What are you drawing? Something. <laughs> what is it? My dreams. Go now. How rude. Okay. Well, now I gotta check out your room first. This bed is very- Why are you mad about it? Did you see your face? This bed is very pink. She's like, mad. Oh, this is one of those mute- Why is it- It's mute? I've seen so many and they all look sad. Why is he mute? <laughs> like a mime, you mean? Okay. Oh, real flowers, they smell so sweet. I, I'm trying to figure- Am I- Okay. I don't know. So now we got to eat the pill. That was gross. Ew, she, she killed somebody. Oh my god, is that the clown? It's the clown. Oh, we gotta, we gotta look at it. Don't pop out. Ew. <laughs> I don't want- what? <laughs> Maybe if I touched it, it would jump and scare me. Yeah, don't touch it. Hmm, alright, nothing happened, it must be dead. I don't- I hate that laugh, I don't want to touch it, it's the card from the painting. Yeah, okay. You can see... I can. Even the purest of things die in this place. Okay. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Okay, damn, girl. Where did the clown- you saw where the clown went. I hope he's not around here. It looks like he escaped from the painting. Well, that makes me nervous because if he escaped from- if he actually did, that's what she said about the other clown, then that means the other one could be alive. Or just lurking. Gross. I'm not a fan. Alright. Like a scarecrow or something. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. Why do you- Oh, okay. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours- Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. You should blame your- Okay. That's sad. Jeez, that's got serious really quickly. Not like it wasn't serious, and her parents got messed up. Uh, the king likes drawings. Um, okay. Cool. Pretty much unchanged. It's very clean. There's no blood spot, like, no blood spatter in here at all. Okay. This awesome sauce. Let's go this way. Okay. Oh no! Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door is closed. Well, I'm not gonna say open it with my key. You left it open. But you left it open. <laughs> I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? open. Hmm. Don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. I don't- dude, I just had to work- Uh, 
arc. I have no time for this. I have to find a way out. Okay. I have to find another way out? I was I was home free. Can I take the gun? No. I would like the gun. That would that would help me out. Oh. Okay. It's Marcel. Look how big her head is. She's a huge head. Or maybe his head is just abnormally small because both of their heads are ginormous. Did you break up from your room? That's not nice, Fran. My kid. I haven't eaten in days. My kitty told me to leave. Yeah, we're not gonna say my kitty told me to leave. But I'm hungry, sir. I've eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Let me go eat something. Sir Doctor, please just let me go out and eat something. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. You, <laughs> you big people. Ugh, you big people. It's more like, ugh. It's not like, ugh. It's like, uh, you big people. Just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now, then get back to bed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go eat. Let's go. The phone. The phone is ringing. Can I? Oh, I can. Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. That he is. This gate is very locked. Okay. Oh, wait. Poop. Oh. No, 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 no. I keep forgetting that I have the, the pill. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello up there, miss. Your dress is very pretty. My mother had very pretty dresses, too. Bleeding clock. It's like time is broken and stopped. I find clocks to be a bit depressing. Oh, this clock sounds odd. And it also has an eyeball in it. it feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hmm, I can't understand I can't understand what it says. Um, oh, that clock's eye looks like Mr. Midnight's. Well, why do they have eyes at all? Maybe it's because time is running out for him. Oh my dear kitty, I have to find you. Alright. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to cut it off here, guys. And I'll be back with a, you know, another video or whatever. Um, so, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope the audio quality isn't too terrible. I'm hoping to get a, a better microphone soon. So, thanks so much for watching and have a great day, guys.